And now introducing your host, Dr. Injakiri Damages. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. We are coming to you live from New York. My name is Dr. Damages. Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year. How was your holiday? It was good. Oh, okay. Do you all have New Year resolutions? Yeah, man. I have three resolutions. Okay. My number one resolution is that next time, I will be the one slapping someone. <laughs> I'm not going to take any more slaps, not even from the Pope. My number two resolution is that I will never again say that President Jonathan is slow. Why? After the Christmas Day church bombing, the speed with which he declared a state of emergency in mm. some local government areas so where Boko Haram had been active really impressed me. Wow. <laughs> My number three resolution is that I will not start any more rumors this year. Why? Oh. After I started the rumor that Ruben Abati had resigned, I was ashamed that my rumor was killed by another rumor that said that he did not resign. Aww. Of course, it's an equal reaction. In the olden days, junior rumors used to respect senior rumors. That's right, that's right. You all look so sad. Mm, yeah. You don't have to tell me. Let me guess. Your kidney was not a match with uh, Nick Cannon's kidney? <laughs> no? <laughs> I know why. I know, I know. Don't tell me. I know why you are not happy. Uh, the new year came with the removal of the oil subsidy. Now you're talking. The price of everything has doubled as mm -hmm. a result. Mm -hmm. Some folks who went to the village for Christmas could not afford the transport fare to return. To come no back. Money, oh. mm. Those who used to eat one and a half times a day now eat three quarters of a time oh. a day. <laughs> Those who used to run their generators from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. now turn it off at 12 midnight. Now so, Even the dowries paid on the head of young women have doubled. <laughs> that last one forced young men to storm cities across Nigeria in protest. This is a lie. Initially, some young women vowed to stay away from the protest until the government shut down their BlackBerry services. What? Mm. So let me tell you, this be a lesson to you all. If it is not broken, do not fix it. Mm. Meanwhile, in Abuja, the party is just starting as unbudgeted millions of naira roll into the federal coffer each day Barao. that the removal stands. Mm. President Jonathan has ordered brand new sets of military uniforms. Wow. He needs them to look tough as he detains young people out on the street in protest. Of course. In just a week of influx of cash, the waistline of Abuja fat cows mm. have exploded. Mm. The secretary to the federal government, Mr. Mm. Pius Anyin, has ordered a new set of wardrobe to hide his belly, mm. stuffed <laughs> with cassava bread, <laughs> now pushed down with geisha. Wow. Not to be outdone with the new money, Patience Jonathan, the wife of the president, has ordered a new set of Igbo to English dictionaries. No way, no way. She also hired the writers of these dictionaries to teach her how to pronounce umbrella. <laughs> In the meantime, the Nigerian Labor Congress, the National Association of Nigerian Students, the Nigerian Market Women Association mm -hmm. have all issued ultimatums to the President of Nigeria to reverse the first subsidy removal or face the shutdown of Nigeria. All right. Already, several Occupy Nigeria movements have started. Mm. None of these have touched the president. He is said to be held up in Aso Rock, where Ms. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is on a one-man Occupy Aso Rock campaign. <laughs> Ms. Iwala is threatening to resign if <laughs> President Jonathan chickens out Let that go. from her well-crafted World Bank PowerPoint presentation that demanded oil subsidy removal on the first day of 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jonathan. He had to tell a confidant that he never loved to be president. Mm. I preferred my life when I had no shoes, no patience, <laughs> and no ngozi, he said. <laughs> As protests against the oil subsidy removal continue, some renegade Nigerian policemen in Lagos have joined in. Okay. As a goodwill gesture, the team of policemen and women released all of the one-year-old babies they had in detention. They also released that famous goat they detained some two years ago. Those who saw the goat said that nothing was left of the goat but bones. 
It's not enough that Ms. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is sitting on the president's behind, making sure that he does not waffle on, mm -hmm. his, on his Facebook page. President Jonathan has been receiving abuses from Nigerians. All right. As of the last count, over 8,000 abuses have come from Nigerians Whoa. all over the world. The most common name Nigerians are calling the president is Bad Sock. Bad Sock! Bad Sock! Last night, thousands of Nigerians stormed INEC office, ransacking files. Why? When arrested and brought before a magistrate court, these angry Nigerians argued that they were only trying to withdraw the votes they cast for good luck, Jonathan. I take it back. Oh, yeah. In other news, the national team, the Super Eagles, is searching for a competent goalkeeper. Again? Is it possible for Stephen Keshi to also find a competent president for us while he's at it? Yeah. Also in Lagos, banks are refusing to accept deposits of more than 150,000 naira a day. Why? It's part of the cashless Lagos that the central bank governor Lamido Sanusi promised. Mm. Is it just me or do you also feel that trashless Lagos is needed to complement the cashless yeah. Lagos? Amen. This is true. Mm, I think so. Meanwhile, Boko Haram terrorist group has given Christians in the northern part of Nigeria three days to return to the south. Just three days? The final day is tomorrow. Whoa. Those who were waiting to see when President Jonathan will leave Abuja we are surprised. <laughs> to hear that he's been going around asking his head aides if he was a Christian. <laughs> Finally, the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Pastor Ayo Orise Jaffo, confessed that he was buying Indian hemp. What? Ibo, mm -mm. When Christ arrested him. Hey. Oh yeah. So, so, so there is hope that Bola Tinubu will still be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> This is Dr. Damages. Until next week, I diagnose and you heal yourself. Damages! <laughs>